You ever get a music link from a friend, tap on it and boom, you are in the wrong app? Annoying, right? That is exactly why Redo Me exists. It's a simple but genius application that lets you open music links from different streaming services in your preferred application. Let's say your friend sends a Spotify link, but you are on YouTube Music or YouTube, no problem. Redo Me converts it for you like it's built into the system. And it works both ways. You can also share songs by converting them to someone else's platform. And it's not just a link opener. Redo Me lets you tweak your share sheets to change icon shapes, decide which applications to show up, adjust the grid size. It's all about customization. Material you in its full effect with light and dark themes, but here is the catch. By default, Redo Me doesn't open links right away. You will need to enable it manually in your phone settings by going to Set, Open by default, and selecting all the music platforms that aren't installed. Once that is done, you are good to go. It supports all major players, YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud. It even opens in YouTube and even other third-party clients. If you handles music links, chances are Redo Me has it covered. And so if you live in a world of mixed streaming platforms, this application is a must-have. Next up, I can tap on this little arrow here and bring up this hidden dock. And here I can access so many tools, I can control volume, Bluetooth, and even view my notifications from here. I can also access all installed applications from here, and there is more. The app is called Smart Dock, and you can bring it up anytime and on any screen you are on. Let's say I want to open another application, I wouldn't have to go back home and enter the app drawer. I can quickly bring up this dock and find that application. And in the Smart Dock application, you can choose what you want to appear on the dock, including recent applications and also customize the appearance. And it doesn't require root or any advanced permission to work, you just install it and set it up. Next is an application called Air, and this one is for those who want private secondary storage that feels like a native part of Android. It actually looks similar to the native Android Files application, it hooks directly into the system. Everything you move here will not show up in the phone's system file manager or even third-party file managers. You can create folders and documents and anything you want to keep private and keep everything completely hidden from other applications. It even integrates with Android's files application, but if your device doesn't expose it, there is a shortcut. And if you've got an SD card, and make sure your private storage is actually private. If not, it just falls back into the internal storage seamlessly. This is perfect for anyone who wants an extra layer of privacy without dealing with complicated file managers. Open source applications are great with privacy, smooth user experience and more. And for the real open source enthusiasts, you should have this application installed. It is called Obtainium. And the way this app works, Instead of manually checking for updates on applications you installed from third-party sources, Obtainium tracks them for you. You just add the application's source link and it will notify you when an update is available. It works with GitHub, GitLab, FDroid and a lot more. Plus, you can enable background updates, categorize applications by source and keep your third-party applications up to date without a headache. A really useful tool if you install applications from third-party sources. And then let's talk storage cleanup. WhatsApp is massive, over 3 billion users, and if you're one of them, you know how quickly it clutters up your storage. That is where WhatsApp Cleaner comes in. It's a simple, effective tool that cleans up those redundant media files, videos, images, voice notes, without digging through your storage manually. With a simple interface which shows you how much storage those WhatsApp files have taken. So you can just dig into each of them, select and delete them. And you can also sort them by date so you can hold on to the recent ones and delete the files that are way older. The good news is, all sent files on WhatsApp becomes duplicates of the original file, so you are not losing your files when you delete them. It's not affiliated with WhatsApp, but if you want to keep your phone from filling up with useless files, this app is a lifesaver. Consider subscribing to the channel if you love open source applications and you enjoyed this video and leave a comment let me know which of these applications you would love to try out. Also don't forget to leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.